Good morning, everyone. I'm Christine Haight, and I am serving as the chairperson of the stewardship campaign this year. Do you feel surrounded by prayer? Do you feel lifted up by prayer? I do, and I hope you do too. If you are a member of Washington Street, then you are a part of a community of prayer, a prayer community. To be part of this prayer community, you may be, but you don't have to be, a participant in one of our prayer groups that meet weekly to pray together. You may be part of our prayer chain ministry that prays for those that are sick or in crisis. You may teach children Sunday school or volunteer to lead the children's moment during Sunday service, and thus you help teach our children and our young people how to pray. These groups and these ministries are important ways that we show as church members our commitment to prayer and our commitment to each other. I know because you are here in this sanctuary listening to my words or some are watching on YouTube that you are contributing to our prayer community by your participation in our Sunday services, by being one voice in the many voices that we lift up to God in prayer, in praise and in supplication, and in the joy that comes just from being communally together and devoted to our Christian faith. Uh, as the director of the stewardship campaign, I'm working with other members of the stewardship campaign committee, Carol Fowler, Joe Epting, Eddie Sullivan, and our church staff, Robbie Douglas, Jane Peterson, and, and of course, Reverend Becky Shirley, to plan for this year's campaign, as well as in Austin, as well as working with us. We are committed to looking at financial giving in the larger context of the many ways that we serve as good stewards of this church. Yes, we tithe, yes, we give financially, but we also pray, we study, we witness, we serve, and we do what we are all doing now, we worship. We give, as we like to say, our time, our treasure, and our talent. I have been for a number of years a member of the Raggio Report Committee and the Records and History Committee, and I love through these committees learning about the history of our beloved church. I love to reflect on the generations and generations of members who through their time, talents, and treasure sustain this church through good times and bad times, uh, decade after decade after decade. These are our saints, and I like, to thank, I like to think that we are doing the good work and continuing the good work that they did. And I hope that when you think of this year's stewardship uh, campaign, that you will think of your place, our place in that history, and also our place in the Methodist Church and in the community of Methodist churches. The Finance Committee recently uh, committed to paying 100% of our apportionments. And that kind of commitment, it takes our, our financial support. Uh, in the weeks leading up to Easter, you will receive a pledge card as well as an opportunity to complete an inventory of your interests and your talents. I ask today, though, uh, that you help in this one particular way, that you join me in a prayer to launch the campaign and that you'll keep the campaign in your prayers uh, over the coming weeks. So thank you and let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this beloved community, this dear historic church. Thank you for the many opportunities we are given to be good stewards of this church. Give us the strength and the commitment to do what must be done to sustain and support this church in its many ministries and commitments. We pray for the success of the stewardship campaign. Please, please lead us in our efforts and keep all of us working on the stewardship campaign and contributing to it ever mindful of our larger purpose, which is to serve you and to serve others. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you.